This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. Hello everyone, I just wanted to let you know that uh, there is now a photo gallery over at the Zurichan website uh, featuring many of the photos that you've seen in the background of some of my videos. Uh, photos that I use both as uh, content on my computer, as uh, screensavers and desktop backgrounds, but also been printing out quite a few of these and using these to decorate uh, the house uh, because they feature locations that are quite pretty. Uh, how you get to the photo gallery is you of course go to zurichan.com just like it says right there z-a-r-r-a-k-a-n dot com and you can see there's a new button right under the store and right next to Patreon photo gallery. Uh, this can also be accessed by going to information and then going down to photo gallery. Clicking on that will get you to the same photo gallery. But the button's right there, so let's click on that. So that gets you to my Amazon Drive. You click on web. There's the photo gallery. Now in previous iterations of the Zirkin.com website, I've ha I have had very large photo galleries. Um, haven't been able to find a way of automating that effectively to get back to uh, that kind of a sizable gallery. So uh, this is just the content that I deem nice enough to use as a background on my computer screens. Uh, uses my screensavers and print on photo paper to hang up on my walls. So this is the cream of the crop of the pictures I've taken, uh, taken in such a way on purpose because I use them as computer screen backgrounds, screensavers, and potentially to print out and hang on my walls. Uh, it's a fairly basic gallery. Uh, so what you do is that it is, for the most part, organized uh, from top to bottom in a earliest photo to most recent photo. So if you want to get to a time closer to the now, uh, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. As you can see, there's a bunch of 2018s down here. Uh, or if you want to uh, search for a particular thing, uh, you can go Control F, and let's say you're a fan of Bryn O, like I am. So you would go Bryn, and oh look, there's one of Bryn O. And you can down arrow, and there's Bryn O again, same photo, but you get the idea. Uh, so if you're looking for a particular uh, photo from a particular video I've done or a particular um, subject or exhibit or artist, uh, you can control F to search it that way. That might help in going through all the pictures. At the moment, there's 149. This will, of course, be added to as I cover more locations. So that's a way of navigating it. Um, another way of navigating it is to just click on any particular photo and uh, you can go through the gallery by using your arrow keys. 
Now some of these photos are in different sizes and different formats, but all of them quite good, in my opinion anyway. The, again, they are the photos that I use as my screensaver and computer monitor backgrounds and also print quite a few of these to hang out my walls. Tastes may vary, but I thought them important enough to have in their own separate album uh, to use as uh, background screensavers and printed photos. If you wish to uh, download any of these, uh, there's a download link right up in the top right corner. Uh, so you can download them, put them on your own computer background screensaver, print them out, hang them on, on your walls, whatever you want to do. Again, these aren't quite in order because this is a very basic setup for a web gallery. Uh, but for the most part, it's organized properly by date. So the topmost picture will be some of my earliest pictures, and the bottommost pictures will be some of my most recent pictures. Quite a few photos here. That's one of my favorites right there. That's one of the ones I have hanging up on my wall. Oops. That's another nice one. Like I said, you've probably seen me use some of, well, not use, but seen some of these pictures in the background while I'm making videos and hung up on my wall. So I wanted to find a way to make them easily accessible uh, without having to do a ton of work. Because I don't quite yet have this as my day job, so... I can't be spending too much time on, uh, you know, updating galleries and whatnot. But there it is. So at the moment, 149 pictures uh, that uh, you can access via my website, Zurichin Productions website at zurichin.com. Again, you go to the website and you go up to either information and then photo gallery or go to the photo gallery button, which is right next to our Patreon button or below the store menu. And you can click on that to uh, get to our gallery, which will be updated on a regular basis with uh, newer pictures as I cover 
new places and find a picture, hopefully, um, worthy of becoming part of the gallery. So just a quick informational video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.